welcome everybody once again to Cooking on the Rim. I am Quish of the Black Pants Legion, and today we are playing some more Rim World. Blacker, I am so glad you enjoyed all of the pictures in that intro. I know they're your favorites. <laughs> what happens when you stick Squish and Quish in a teleporter together? Science. Science happens. You, get, you do, you get Squish. You know, actually, uh, I had a, a friend, or a couple of friends, they were a couple, and they had a kid together, and when that kid was very young, they, they called me Uncle Squish. But such is the way. Such is the way. So yeah, we're playing RimWorld today, uh, and we are still in try-hard mode. We are going to try our absolute hardest to beat this mother-loving game. All right, let's see. Where did we leave off? We got lots of food growing, looks like. Uh, Apex is research. Yeah, Apex is research. Whacker is plants and cooking. Also our doctor. Lucky Omen is mining construction, helping with plants. Durberger is in the colony. He is into social and is going to be doing some mining, I guess. Uh, not much anything it doesn't look like, but he's going to he's going to be here. And then Thunderclap Sasquatch. Uh, oh, I think Thunderclap is actually going to be taking over cooking duties for now, huh? Where are we currently at with our research? We're researching mortars. Nice. Uh, we got a base. We have a we have a base. We could probably build some more coolers to put on the side of here. So we can just have more food processed into paste. Windless has redeemed a naming game and Atamu has released an re redeemed an eye break. It is a little early for an eye break, uh, but I will I will be going to a commercial break. Here in a little bit because uh because i want to because you redeemed it um so let's go ahead and bring up the old wheel of names and let's see if we can get a time one here time was on the list Oh, Quinlist wants to be on the uh, on the wheel of names. That's okay, Atama. We're gonna put you on for free. How about that? Quinlist is gonna be on there. Castus wants to be on there. Do we have Castus? Uh, don't see him. Don't see him. Castus two two three. Uh, mnemonic man. Okay, Tom, I appreciate you. All right, let's go ahead and save this list so we don't lose it. Yeah. Let's see, we're putting in, uh, putting in some stuff. How are we doing on defenses? We've got that all nice and set up. Cool. Cool. Everybody has parkas. Durberger's missing a weapon. He prefers melee. Uh, we got some poor spears here. Let's uh, build an electric smithy. Right there. Doing pretty good on power. We have access to another geyser here and here. We got plenty of room for power. You know, speaking of cursed food, uh, I saw a cursed recipe 
quest failed. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want that quest in the first place. Um, you can't fail something if you didn't ask for it. That's how that works. Uh, no, I saw a, a pretty cursed recipe um, for Thanksgiving. It's like, um, like for stuffing, but it's uh, it's hot dog stuffing. It's like a hot dog casserole. So you take like hot, uh, hot dog buns and you toast them and chop them up into like little cubes. And then you just chop up some hot dogs and you make a sauce out of uh, ketchup, mustard, and relish. You mix it all together and then uh, put it in a casserole dish and bake it. And uh, it sounds pretty horrible. It sounds pretty horrible. <laughs> Dude, Crow would totally eat that. I have full faith that, that Mike would dig into that. What's this down here? This is silver. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's literally only, only three things of silver. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> See, winner's making some pork tenderloins for Thanksgiving. That sounds good. I attended a friend's giving party on Sunday. Uh, and uh, I made mashed potatoes and my wife made mac and cheese. And I have so much mac and cheese and so much mashed potatoes left. It's crazy. I'm going to be eating on them for the rest of the week and I'm not going to be upset about that at all. Uh, Malort and Fireball Eggnog. I hate all three of those things. I would not want to drink any of those things together. Yeah, turkey is kind of a pain in the ass. Honestly, uh, over over quarantine, um, you know, it was just my, my wife and me and the house, like, together. So there's no reason for us to make, like, a big dinner. Um, so we just made sides. Like, we just made our favorite sides. And, uh, like, that was fine. That was perfect. Uh, Nemonic Man, Malort is a, um, it's a type of liquor. Uh, you might call it, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a cordial. Um, I have never personally drank it, but everybody I have ever seen who has drank it has, um, very much not liked it. In fact, I've heard it described as tasting like the water at the bottom of the outside trash can. Uh, we got some guys. Uh, we got some guys. They look pretty well armed. They look dangerously armed, actually. All right. Uh, well, let's make sure everybody stays inside. Yeah, we already have an inside zone. Everybody stay inside. See how these guys, uh, like, like traps. And maybe we can even capture a few of them. Ooh, we captured this guy. Uh, ooh, this person is an intellectual. We could have a second researcher. That's not bad. Uh, well, Whacker is our doctor. So let's capture them. Oh, uh, because he is restricted, that's why. Now he should be able to do it. Yeah. And if you could prioritize making their feetsies. They lost an eye. Got some extreme blood loss. It'll be fine. They don't need two eyes. Perfect. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've I've heard a lot of people say bad things about Malort. I, like I said, I've I've never personally drank it. I've had some some really bad cordials before. I feel like it's one of those things that you're just not supposed to drink straight. Like you're supposed to mix it into something else. But man, I don't I don't know I don't know what you would mix it into. Like I, I I've just I'm I'm not I'm not there. Oh, Porter has an infection in her right leg. Well, there is a solution to that problem. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can save the leg if we, if at all possible. Yeah, I've heard it's kind of like a prank liquor, like you prank people with it. It's like a like a uh, like an initiation. Like if you want to join our gang, like you got to prove that you're a tough guy and drink the malort. Uh, they might not get to keep this leg. That's a pretty good 10 quality too. All right, uh, so it's the right leg. Yeah. Let's uh, install peg leg. Right leg. Whacker. Get to get to whacking. Time to get to whacking. Oh, surgery failed. Actually, their immunity has gone up over top of the infection rate. So, uh, maybe maybe all they needed was a little bit of stabbing. Maybe all they they really needed was a little bit of stabbing. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, well, you can definitely fail to cut a leg off, Sue Winter. Um, uh, I feel like getting the leg off is not the problem. It's not having the patient bleed to death in the process. That that's probably the hard part. That would be my that would be like my my take on it. Hmm. How do you feel to cut a leg off that made it better? That's that's uh that's a that's a that's a harder one to explain, I think. Um that's a harder one to explain for sure. Yeah, I can see that the 10 quality is a little bit higher now. That's probably because they had to re-administer medicine. Uh so we got a better quality on the second try. That might be it. Derberger, what's up? No, you're not your late man, you're right here. You're right here doing absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, Derberger's gonna be. Uh, you know, we can take Apex off of Wardening. Let's put Derberger on Wardening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Derberger, you haven't speed sped run uh, <laughs> dying in the game yet. Believe it or not. Man, Porter is uh not doing good. Oh man, she's 14. She's got a live journal. Like all she really wants to do is write about her chemical fascination and her uh, uh, psychopathic tendencies, how much she hates men. Man, I definitely went to school with this person. I totally know, know who this person is. Uh, yeah, they're going to get immunity. They get to keep their leg. They get to keep the leg. 
They've only got minor blood loss now. They are in extreme pain, however, like all parts of their body are busted up. All right, well, in that case, let's go ahead and recruit you. We'll even let you keep your stuff. All right, we have mortars. Next up is turrets. Megan, Megan was her name in your class. Yeah, I gotcha. I feel like we all had a Megan that we knew. Everybody knows a Megan, at least one. Goods trader. Going to be looking for some gold and some plasteel because we're going to need that for the next stage of research. Um, we have a smithy now. We have not researched like bladesmithing or anything. So let's make a uh, make a breech axe. Yeah. Don't need hyperweave. Uh, Durburger, you're good at the, the social one. Let's just see what they got for sale. Uh, they got chickens. They have a single chicken, I should say. They got uh, a pair of alpacas. Um, we've got a lot of meat that we can sell them. We've got a lot of food we can sell them, actually. Uh, we'll take all of their components. Sell them our single bag of Yayo. They have a poker table. Uh, yeah, they don't have much else that we want though. We are gonna sell them um, probably a lot of this meat that we're not gonna eat because it does have a tendency to go bad otherwise. And we're just going to go ahead and sell them uh, with like 500 rice. Yeah. Just for the silver. By the hen, that's free breakfast. I mean, only if they lay eggs. That's the problem. I guess even one hen is going to lay eggs. They're just not going to get fertilized. Oh, this uh, this mega sloth is is having a having a trouble. Yeah, yeah. How about you? There you go. Done deal. Yeah, Megasoth uh, wandered into the traps, unfortunately. So we're trading, like, the however much steel it costs to make these for probably some leather and meat. Just fine. All right, how's Porter doing? They have a pretty high resistance. But they will eventually, they will eventually crack.
All right, traders are leaving. I guess we're doing fine on beds for now. Let's uh build this wall back up. Oh, we have an urn. That's right, we have a steel urn. Put that right there. Put that in Derberger's room. Hey, Das Grubin. No, you haven't missed much. Haven't missed much. Just, uh... Just some standard rim worlding. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a, an animal bed. Is Vanquisher bonded to anybody? Yeah, Apex is the... The bond. So let's, uh, let's make a... An old bed in his room. Apex and Whacker, you know, just uh, making little heart balloons. Saw Backdraft for the first time on Saturday. It has been a hot minute since I've seen that movie. And by a hot minute, I mean probably multiple decades. Remember it was uh, not a movie I was super into <coughs> as a kid. All right, gun turrets have been made. The gas operations. Now we can do Uh, we do need to mine up some more steel. Inside the base. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's probably a movie that's fine for kids. Like, not like super young kids, maybe, but. And what we'll do is build granite wall out to like, say here. Oh, you see Billy Baldwin's butt? Ah, uh, yeah. There's a suggestive scene. Some people are killed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I get that. Okay, yeah. Like you don't want, you don't want, you want people to see butts. You don't want people to see butts.
Hmm. Who is everybody's favorite Baldwin brother? I always like Stephen Baldwin. I thought he was uh thought he was uh, underrated. James Baldwin. I know Alec Baldwin uh, got into some trouble. Maybe we should uh not have that conversation then. How's this going? She's already down to under 14. It's not bad. Yeah, bio damn. Stephen Baldwin was the, the kind of the funnier one. I think Stephen Baldwin was in uh, The Usual Suspects, which is one of my favorite movies. Pretty sure that was Stephen Baldwin. Do we have multiple people mining? Yeah, we should. Derberger, you can mine. Oh no. A tortoise. A tortoise has gotten trapped in a trap. Okay, so what kind of flooring options do I have here? Because while I want to make this difficult ground to, to tr track across, I also don't want to leave trees growing in here. Uh, it's very flammable. I feel like that's actually kind of a kind of a plus in a security room, right? For now, I think we're gonna uh, just gonna lay down some concrete. Oh, he did. He built a trap over top of the turtle that was bleeding to death. Lovely. Yeah, I think Portal is going to be, or uh, Porter here is going to be our, uh, called her Portal, uh, is going to be our, our backup researcher. So we'll build a second research table and we'll have them both going. Mm, spaceship chunks. Delicious. Oh no, a psychic drone. Uh, we're gonna put power over here. That should probably reach all of them. Ooh, thrombos.
All right. I guess I could build a science room now then. like that. Yeah, something like that. It's the RimWorld song. is healed. Is this the one with the yeah, 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 O's? I don't think there's any words to the song. I could be mistaken. We are going to need more steel than this, probably. It's only five steel, but we will haul it in. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Um, uh, let's go ahead and do sterile materials. There we go. Apex is inspired to do some trading. There's a song with that, and it's everything. Okay. Okay. Take your word for it. Believe you. And I built these uh, walls in between the turrets. Um, because uh, turrets explode. And this prevents the explosions from chaining. Um, and I have plenty of cloth, right? Eh, I wouldn't say plenty, but I have some cloth. So let's go ahead and make some sandbags. Maybe even mine that out. Special deal. They would like 17 t-shirts. They will send us a bunch of mortar barrels, which is actually something we need. Um, an orbital beam targeter, an animal pulser, an insanity lance, and a bunch of gold. I mean, that's that seems cool, but I don't think we I don't think we need to do any of that. Your wife and kids are listening to Christmas songs, man. It's it's only a matter of time, unfortunately. Only a matter of time. Yeah, the Insanity Lance is kind of nuts. Uh, if you're in a fight, you can shoot it at the bad guys, and they'll go crazy and start attacking each other. There's a mad tortoise. He's mad we killed his brother. He's mad that we built a trap under his little feetsies. Making little little angry turtle noises.
Come on, buddy. You can do it. We're right here. You can come eat our little toes. Come do it. There's nothing there's nothing in this room. It's totally totally safe. All right, so this looks like it has been Oh, now we have a Psychic Soothe. That's much nicer. Much nicer. Well, you know what? Uh, somebody did redeem an eye break. So uh, I think that means we're going to cut to a commercial while I rest my eyes and put some eye drops in. So... We'll be right back. Hey there, folks. It's me, Tom Tombadil, of Wide Tom's Bean House. Come on down and try our never-ending bucket of beans. Only $14.99. I've got beans coming out the wazoo. We got bean salad, pork and beans, Three bean casserole, jelly beans? But if beans aren't your fancy, we've got a full burger bar. Help yourself. Just $14.95 plus tax. Wide Tom's Bean House has a big old burger bar just for you. In addition to the burger bar, we also have a full liquor bar, as well as sports playing on every TV. Call toll-free at 888-WIDE-TOM to book your reservation at a restaurant near you today. And we're back. Thank you, Wide Tom, for that endorsement. Sea Winner says there's a metal Christmas album that has Lemmy singing Run, Rudolph, Run with Billy Gibbons and Dave Grohl. You know, uh, I have a, uh, like many people, I have a, a Christmas playlist on Spotify that I use for the holiday occasion. And uh, it's definitely possible that that Lemmy song is on that playlist. Distinct possibility, in fact. I like at the very end of the song when he goes, Merry Christmas, motherfucker. It's a very Lemmy thing. Uh, let's see, we got another raid coming. It's a slightly bigger raid. Let's see how this goes. About as well as you'd expect. No survivors, unfortunately. Porter's ready to join any moment, though. I only play Christmas from uh, the 20th to the 25th. Trans-Siberian Orchestra is fun to listen to, though. That is probably the highlight of Christmas. All right. And then uh, we're going to put... Uh, oh, we're still researching the sterile tile. So let's reinstall you... And then we're going to install another research bench here. Awesome. And, uh... Did we have a mod with the, uh, 
Yeah, you know, my you know, I, I built it in with an extra space because I thought that we had the mod with the um, uh, filing cabinets, but I think that we are missing that one. Oh well. Yeah, let's make a couple of comfy chairs. A couple of nice old comfy armchairs. Uh, let's see. We have a uh, heavy fur. All right, so sterile materials. Let's go ahead and start on microelectronics. And then that means we can uh, floors put in sterile tile. Now, sterile tile uh, does give you a bonus on research, which is why I'm doing this. Got some nice comfy chairs in the research room. Perfect. Hopefully Porter is not getting too used to this uh, delicious onion paste that we're making for her. I mean, you know, onion paste doesn't sound too bad. Maybe like as a soup. Like a nice onion soup sounds pretty good. Like a French onion soup. We should probably ought to build like a rec room. That might be uh that might be a fun thing to have, right? A nice place for everybody to unwind. Also probably ought to build a hospital at some point in the near future. Hospital is probably gonna be a little bit more centralized. Maybe I'll build the hospital like right here in the middle. Let's just go ahead and mine all this stuff right here in the middle. You know, Vanquisher, let's, uh, oh yeah, do all this stuff now. Um, let's go ahead and keep you inside. Another raid. Okay. Raids are getting a little bit bigger now.
Okay. Oh, there's a prison break. All right, well. Oh, shit. She just grabbed her gun and ran. That's a bold one. She's going to get away. I didn't think she could open the door. I figured she would have had to smash her way out. Oh, oh. Okay, she's not dead. Uh, Whacker is in no immediate danger. She's gonna die in six hours. Like to like to recruit her if I can. Oh, Ethan Hunt, of course. The bits. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Uh, yeah. I feel like if we try to carry her back, this is probably not gonna go well. But Let's see how bad this goes. Should be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. And Wacker can tend himself. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't expect that they would be able to open that door. All right, so let's figure out Something like that. And then uh, wooden shelves are fine. Wooden shelves will be fine, so then we'll do... Something like that. This will be our uh, little little hospital. It's like midway between where we'll be doing defenses and like in case somebody like gets sick in the base. Does this guy have fire foam pop pack? Yeah, let's uh, let's take that. Oh man, they got like flak pants and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have the washing machine mod. I don't have uh, hygiene on.
forgot to boil the potatoes. Oh man, classic mistake. As a professional cook, uh, the, the best advice I can give you is to make sure that your potatoes are boiled. Uh, your painting clan angriest magpie. What's up, Lord Grimos? Always happen to hear people painting. Okay, medicines. We are gonna need some lights in here. Oh, some Apex is throwing a party. Playing some Andrew WK. Fended off a nasty little migraine. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Last thing anybody needs. Oh, that's right. I had uh, Durberger doing crafts. That's why. Yeah, we, we, we had him working on making chunks. Oh, let's see. Where's the rec room going to go? I guess I could put that in like right here. Maybe I could put it over here closer to the bedrooms. Derberger is having a tantrum because he uh, is angry. He's going to destroy rice. Well, okay, man. <laughs> you two have cooked for a living. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like a lot of people have uh, have had that experience in life. And this will probably run us out of silver, but. What's up, bruh? Oh, right. Because I had uh, I had him focusing on marble blocks, and now he's out of marble. Third burger, uh, you, can, you can get back to it, man. You know, honestly, uh, as much rice as we have, that's that's okay. I feel I feel fine with that. <laughs> Also realize that I probably don't have these refrigerators set up to accept rice. Oh, this should be normal priority. Then these should be critical. Uh, just some angry clanners. Just some angry clanners. All 
right. Research is on the way. That was uh, DJ Steve Porter over here. Gonna gonna recruit. Resistance is zero. Uh, oh, I guess gonna do it. All right, Porter is now a part of the group. Porter is now a member of society. Uh, we're gonna put them on the same schedule as Apex. She does have a chemical fascination, so that's gonna be a problem eventually, but it's fine. But a uh, new colonist means uh, it's time. It's time for the wheel. The wheel of names. That's right. It's the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. Let's find out who this person's gonna be. Well, Thunderclap Sasquatch is already in the colony, so maybe I forgot to remove him from the list. Let's try that again. Oh, Quinlist. Quinlist just got into the game. Quinlist is in the game. Awesome. Let's take you off the list. And back to the void. I guess uh, at work they had a break room, in, in their break room they had a cheesy ham and potato challenge. The challenge, find the potato. Not that there was none in it, but that the cook had hollowed out two potatoes and stuffed them with ham and extra cheese. You were given the spoon and one chance to find it. Winners got to pick between eating the potato or getting a jumbo cinnamon roll. Okay. It's a that's a that's a heck of a heck of a thing. All right, well now hopefully research goes twice as fast. What's up, Diggs? What is up? All right. Hospital is rearing to go. Pretty soon we can upgrade from rice paste to corn paste. Delicious. Like it's not even like like creamed corn or like corn pudding or anything like that. Like all of that sounds delicious. It's just literally pureed corn in a bowl. All right, so let's consider uh, setting up a rec room. With like games and stuff in it.
Yeah, think of all the vegetables that you could just puree and eat like a paste. Corn paste is probably fine. In fact, there's a high likelihood that I've eaten corn paste in my life. You know what, we're actually starting to get a low on wood too, so let's chop some trees down. Old Bay is actually really good on popcorn. Uh, I like um, I like Cajun seasoning on a lot of stuff. We got a got a variety of Cajun seasonings in the uh, in the old pantry that we use. But the old standby is, of course, Tony Shasheries. Old Tony C's stuff's great on everything, but popcorn specifically. Oh, that's right. Thunderclap is a uh, night owl. But he's just going to work at night. Brewer's yeast on popcorn. Okay, that's an interesting one. I was on board with everything else. Like, like full stop. Brewer's yeast is a weird choice. I don't know why I uh, cut in this little hole right here. All right, we have microelectronics. Now we need um, an advanced research bench. Mm, oranges. I guess I need a research project, don't I? Uh, guess we could always start getting into drugs, right? Oh, somebody's got the plague. Oh no.
All right, I guess. Oh, he is. He is like already like way immune to it. What the heck? Is he super immune? He has an awful immune system. Weird. Okay. Probably do not have no we got plenty of plenty of resources for that got the steel got the components probably gonna need some more steel soon though I'm not at the point where I want to go strip mining stuff so that means we're probably going to have to Open up the rest of the world here. Yeah, I guess we'll just start over here. Is it uranium? Oh, it is uranium. Yeah, like I imagine the brewer's yeast would give it like kind of like a like a bready flavor. Okay, let's go ahead and build auto cannons. guess nobody can get to that yeah I mean and ain't nothing wrong with MSG man gets a bad rap but uh, it does make food taste quite good. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just extend the fridge out to here. Well, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. We'll mine that Well, the thing is, like, there's MSG in a lot of natural foods. Like, MSG that you put, like, like you get as a as an additive for food is like concentrated, obviously. But like, if you've ever had tomatoes, you've had MSG. Like, it's just like a like a normal thing that that goes in food. All right, recreation, let's put a billiards table in here. Poker table. Uh, maybe we're a little, a little pinched in here, aren't we? Yeah, this needs to be like two spaces bigger, maybe.
And then like a chess table. Yeah. So we're gonna mine out that much. This is true. This is true. Like a lot of things with cooking, like nobody wants to just eat like a handful of salt. Like nobody wants to eat just like a, a you know, one note flavor. Thunderclap is bored. Don't worry, man. We're we're hooking you up with some some fun activities. We are gonna need some lights though. Yeah, Samurai, you're you're not wrong there. Um and yeah, we'll 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 keep it keep it classy. Not get into any, any heavy discussions today. But uh yeah. No, there's there's you're definitely not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Oh, uh, I guess once now that we're at the point where we're doing advanced research, we either need to have two of these high-tech research benches or none at all. So let's uh, reinstall you here. Let's deconstruct you. Deconstruct you. And then we'll build another one here all oh, the the old the old pirates oh oh no oh no get out they're coming through the coming through the ceiling Oh shit, they got real guns. Oh, uh, Durberger still doesn't have a weapon. Alright, get out of there, Durberger. Oh, this is bad. Put out the fires and uh, all right, let's take a look at the damage. Lucky Emin, get some rest. Yeah, get some rest, guys. Whacker, let's get you up to triage duty. Oh, is Apex also a doctor? No, no, he's not a doctor at all. Okay, well, it's been a while since I've had a, uh, a drop pod raid like that. I got some, some pills, some gas station trucker pills. 
Oh, we got an infection. Lucky omen. Burger, like go go rest, man. Oh, Apex accident. Oh no no no. Okay, well he's 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 getting up there. And everybody's got the flu. Excellent timing. Wacker's gonna have to come in here and start tending people. Oh man, Wacker is going to be so tired. Uh, Wacker. Yeah, get to it. Sorry. Yeah, I haven't sent any of the new guys to, to self 10 yet. You're right. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have a lot of people who can actually do medical. It's pretty mostly just Wacker at this point. Okay, so he's got the flu. Jesus. Okay. Lucky Omen is off uh, having a wander. Uh, okay, man. Okay, things are going a little sideways. Things are going a little sideways. Come on, close up to him. Yeah, there you go. Oh, but he's on a, uh... Okay. Oh, no, 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 okay. Well, uh, so you know how, uh, this is our try hard, uh, this is our try hard playthrough.
We can do this. We can do it. Sasquatch just went on a berserk rage and decided to punch a boomalope of all things. All right, Sasquatch has died. So Thunderclap Sasquatch is the first uh, casualty of the colony. Uh, he was gonna do cooking and we have replaced him with Chef Mike. So F's in chat for, uh, for Thunderclap Sasquatch. I guess we should probably build like a place for graves. Put that here for now. Put out this corn fire. Uh, he's going to die of this infection. Okay. Uh, it's in his right hand. Amputate right hand. Whacker. Get on it. Dirt Burger is in a daze. Unfortunately, we are out of medicine in the hospital. There's a peg leg and he's about ready to have a wooden hand. Oh, hey, it's an Aurora. Hopefully that will help with the fact that everybody's going to be in an awful mood. Oh, thunderclap. Quinn list. You know what? This is what we should do. Let's put everybody on primary bed rest. And I don't know why Wacker is not currently set to primary doctoring. You know what? Uh... There we go. Man, these are getting a little bit, a little bit wild here in the the old rim world today. He's cooking crayfish dinners in the great big bay in the sky. Hey, speaking of speaking of hard video games, do you guys ever play Bayou Billy? It's a hard ass game. Got a solar flare, a mad gazelle. Things are things are getting uh things are getting wild. Yeah, yeah, there was there was an episode. You're right, Samurai. There was an episode of Captain N.
So uh, something you guys might know about me is that I'm a big fan of American football, and uh, I play fantasy football. And uh, I'm about, I don't know, 20 points behind my opponent. Actually, uh, right now I'm only about 10 points behind my opponent this week. And he's done. He's got no more players left. But I have Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey just scored a touchdown. I just got a notification on my phone. So I wanted to share that with you guys. That Taylor Swift's boyfriend just caught a touchdown pass. I'm very excited about that. Who the hell's starving? Dude, we have so much food. We have so much food. Are you just going to eat oranges? Are you just going to... Oh, okay, you're horking up your guts because you got food poisoning. That's why you're starving. Let's get all this trash out of the, uh, out of the kitchen here. Yeah, I caught a little bit of the Vikings game last night. Unfortunately, my opponent had the tight end from the Vikings last night. He had a he had a, a mediocre night, which was good. Oh, uh, Mrs. Samurai's uh the 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 black mark for uh, <laughs> for uh Fantasy football. Is that an Uzi in the hall? Maybe. What are you going to do about it? Alright. Um. I guess. Getting stuff clean. Good man. Wacker's throwing a party. I'll tell you, Wacker, you're kind of the the backbone of this colony right now, man. You just got everybody back back to back from the land of the living. They were all like dying of the plague and having stanky feet and stanky arms, stab wounds. Just stayed up like three days straight healing everybody, fixing the plague. And now you're throwing a party about it. What a freaking Chad! What an absolute Chad! And then these motherfuckers want to come back in. Wreck our day. Well, you know what? You go right ahead. I got something for you. I had that feel. How did that feel? All right. I need to, uh, I guess, extend... and then probably build a proper storage room. Packer, uh, uh, or Wacker rather, you get a, uh, you get time and a half, uh, but time and a half of zero is still zero. So on the, on the plus side, you don't have to pay taxes on that. You have to pay the cheese tax. I mean, you know, if you walk by the refrigerator and you get some shredded cheese in the middle of the night, you better be given uh, a bit to, to Vanquisher. He's a good boy. Uh Oh, yeah, you're right. The chair needs to get shifted over. Good call, Clan Ducks. Looking out for me. It's 
possible we have more than enough food to last us forever. Oh no. Is that not smooth? Oh yeah, gotta smooth the surfaces first, don't I? Whacker, you have a good night, man. Thanks for coming out. You too, Turkey. You too. I just called you turkey because you said turkey. That's how my brain works. I guess it's going to be on a sad wander. His friend. Ah, uh, he's sad that Thunderclap died. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. We're all sad about that. <laughs> you am turkey gobble gobble <laughs> yeah I've had a bit of a long day basically um, I had planned on taking the week of Thanksgiving and not taking a whole lot of time off like just taking the time off that they normally give us and since most people are on vacation that week just taking that as my opportunity to like catch up on all of the things that I've been needing to catch up on forever and what actually ended up happening is a project that I had been putting off for just such an occasion because uh, I knew I would have lots of time to work on it. Uh, my boss told me on Friday afternoon that I needed to have it done by end of day today. And I spent all day breaking my ass trying to get it done. And I did not get there. Yeah, no funerals today. No funerals. No funerals. Yeah, but I mean that, that's that's the nature of the business. Like sometimes things become an emergency and you got to you got to switch gears. Nobody's fault really, just you know the way the way things got to have to happen sometimes. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's actually skip the multi-analyzer for now and very quickly get carpets made. And then I'll put carpet in the rec room here. We even put in a chess table. With, uh, some stools. Nice little rec room. Yeah, you get those rug burns by, uh, uh, doing somersaults on the carpet. That's how that happens. Definitely not, uh, doing anything else. You weirdos. Oh, Thunderclap was our night owl, too. Oh, and he had a nervous breakdown because he was uh, during the day. He literally, he had sun madness. 
He saw the sun and it drove him insane. Yeah, that, that research is pretty quick. Research is pretty quick. Yeah, we're not growing much. Uh, we're growing food, of course. Uh, we have a special uh, crop just for prison food. And then we've got cloth down here and medicine over here. We just researched uh, drug production. So I may do a smoke leaf crop. We do have lots of corn. means I'll need to make a blunt rolling room might do that up here all right carpet making has been researched get back to the multi-analyzer that means we can put uh, lights in here and carpet uh, yeah, we'll do a red carpet. Nice, uh, maybe a nice burgundy carpet. Yeah, nice subtle red to go with our, uh, green rectangles. Oh man, that is so much corn. So much corn. Yeah, we have more food than we're ever going to need. Uh, so we should probably chill out on the growing food. Look at Vanquisher. You know what? Vanquisher has been around since the beginning of the colony. And I feel at this point, I feel like this point, we should give him a name. Just so, just so the unfortunate can happen. So let's go ahead and get the old wheel of names out. Let's find out who gets to be this good boy. Well, of course. Of course. UNC Samurai, welcome to doghood. Oh, uh, did not mean to roll that again, but that's fine. Das Gruben, you exist for no reason. <laughs> Samurai, that is pretty accurate, unfortunately. I do have bad habits with animals. They just get up and leave. <laughs> Thanks, Grimace. I appreciate it. Oh, Dosh Grubin, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get you into the colony, man. It'll happen. It'll happen. Yeah, the animals survive usually. It's the uh, it's the colonists that don't make it. Oh, and I guess uh I took uh who is our cook? Is it Whacker? Yeah, I took Whacker off of cooking. You know, hopefully we can uh, we can get some 
some raiders with some tougher tougher ankles Tell you what, Das Gruben, I'll do that. Next thing that gets named in the game, we'll go ahead and we'll have the we'll have that roll stand. How about that? Let's see, auto cannon turrets are bigger. And they have a shorter range. Maybe we'll do, uh... Something like that. Oh wait, is that their minimum range? Oh yeah, 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 that's their minimum range. <laughs> Golly, okay. Um... Maybe we'll think on that. We have a caravan. It is a slave caravan. Uh, who likes to do social again? Derberger. Derberger loves doing social. It's his favorite thing. I heard him tell. He told me that the other day. He's like, you know what? I love doing swish. I love talking to traders. Uh, well, they got some some slaves. Uh, they have a doctor named Tony. Tony the doctor. He's a boy soldier. He's a marble doctor. Okay. He's a night owl. He's actually a pretty good doctor. Um, we got Giraffe the Archer. He's a crash baby. He's pretty. He's a pyromaniac. Not good at much else. Uh, we have Michaela, who's an escapee. She is a kind slowpoke. Kind and sanguine. Oh, man. That is a colonist that is going to not be messing around. But they, they're incapable of caring. Jesus. Okay. And then... Uh, uh, Riula is a rancher. Uh, capable of dumb labor and violence. Negative. Negative. Well, Tony is the only one that we would consider. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have any money right now, and they will not buy our corn, our vast corn dollars. But we will sell them the Wake Up and the IO. We'll buy their medicine. They have 14 hits of Luciferium. Terrifying. Good enough. Good enough. Ah, uh, no, Durberger, you love talking to people. You were just telling me the other day how much you love talking to people. Can the auto cannon shoot over mini turrets? That's a question. That is a question for the ages. All right, so maybe let's do this.
Okay, it's not much of a fire. Maybe, maybe chill out. I guess has the flu. Uh, that's he's he's the uh the one who's like, yeah, sickly. Okay. Hundred percent quality tending. Well, we are uh, we are getting pretty close to the end of our stream tonight. Um, coming up next, we should have Pandora Pirate Radio, who uh, are going to be playing some games, of course. Durberger is on an insulting spree because he's wearing it. Who told you to put on a tainted flak mask? Who told you to do that? Come on, dude. Can I not tell you to take it off? Oh, because you're uh, obviously you're having a mental break. That's why. Uh, don't I have people on? Okay. Apparently they can just put on tainted clothes and be mad about it. Yeah, I think I can tell him to not wear, uh... Yeah, I can tell them to not wear tainted clothing. Probably a good call. Probably should do that. They're having a fight. Uh oh oh samurai is gonna rescue him. Such a good boy. <laughs> Dusk Grimmin, I thought that was a real quote for a second. I was like, when did I say that? All right, well, everybody's going to be in a bad mood because Durberger's calling people bad words. It's calling them internet words. Yeah, the memes on the internet. Yeah, I feel, I feel like if I built an auto cannon here, it's just gonna like, it's gonna get like one shot off, right? Eh, it might get a couple shots off. Who the heck's starving? Apex, okay. Go back to bed. Now that you got your corn paste. Hey, it's the Warlax. The Warlax is part of Pandora Pirate Radio. The Warlax is gonna be playing games. As soon as cooking on the rim is over, he might be playing all kinds of games.
Is he, uh, is he working on that? Are we out of stuff? Uh, we are out of steel. We are out of steel. There's a whole bunch of steel up here. Why have we not collected it? Collect that steel, my friends. Also, most of our colonists are unarmed because they keep dropping their weapons. Get the steel. You love PPR, Pandora Pirate Radio. Uh, tantrum. Okay. It's gonna punch up the hospital. Apex. It's cool. It's cool. Calm down, dude. Calm down. We're kicking holes and shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, let's, 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 uh, keep everybody inside. Those are mechs. Fortunately, they do not have anything else with them. It's just a couple of mechs. Uh, I don't think we're going to get this auto cannon made in time, unfortunately. Uh, okay. 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 Well, I think that that's an opportunity for me to leave everybody on a cliffhanger. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave it right there. And hopefully next week we'll have some, some robots to put in our stew. We'll have robot gumbo. Robot gumbo. Durburger. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, will we survive? Will Durburger get eaten by robots? Find out next week. Uh, this has been Cooking in the Room. My name is Swish, Quish, Swish or Quish. I answered it both. Uh, stream Room World every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll be back next Monday with some more Room World and possibly a robot battle. We'll see you next time. Today, on the WBPS 76, what an F digs. Not again. <laughs> 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 Follow Tom Tomadil, Diggs, and their loving son on all of their wacky adventures. Whoa! I think you were supposed to turn left back there, you nitwit! Oh, can it, woman? I know where I'm going. <laughs> Join us tonight only on WBPL 76 after the stream. Yeah.